The hardest thing spiritually that I've had to learn, I'll admit to you, is to be patient and to wait on God and to realize that the time is not yet right. That is tough to learn. I, I suppose I'm like a type A personality. I like to get in there and get it done, get it done now, and uh, uh, not take any excuses, not, not from others, from me, and to push myself. But when the timing isn't right, I have to set back and wait and realize that there is a higher working taking place. Gloria Gunther has said, when we read of the great biblical leaders, we see that it was not uncommon for God to ask them to wait, not just a day or two, but for years until God was ready for them to act. Well, that's very true. If we read the Bible, we see this over and over again. And as I look into my own life, I see it over and over again. In Isaiah 30, verse 18, it says, The Lord is waiting to show you mercy and is rising up to show you compassion. For the Lord is a just God. Happy are all who wait patiently for God. Well, as I've said, I'm a person that's often in a hurry. Are you a person that's in a hurry? If so, you may be in for some disappointments. Why? Well, because life has a way of unfolding according to its own timetable, not yours. That's why life requires patience and lots of it. Lamentations 3 verse 25 reminds us, The Lord is wonderfully good to those who wait for God and seek God. We must wait for God, and we must seek God and God's timing. But for most of us, waiting quietly is difficult. After all, as human beings, we are interested in things happening and happening now. The next time that you find your patience tested, step back. Slow down, take a deep breath, and relax. Sometimes, life just can't be hurried. And at all times, patience is a virtue with a promise of a great reward. God bless you.